project is now under version control and therefore the subversion menu is now fully enabled to let me control and interact with the version control system. So for example I can look at my history. This is the history within the repository for this particular project and it tells me that I'm currently at revision 2 um, and it is up to date with this particular date and time uh, that last commit included changes and if I look down here I can see what they were there was the addition of files to the project and I had a commit message of initial commit obviously not particularly interested or interesting from the point of view that this was the very first commit to the system but as soon as things start changing within the source files then more information should become available. I'll close down this history for the moment and make a change to the source file. Do something very simple, for example to remove a comment. So of course the file has now been changed. I can save the file and we see that this now is annotated within the Project Explorer as a local modification. Local modifications can easily be undone right back to the point of the last commit to the subversion system and that's by using a command known as revert. So if I click the file and click revert. It tells me the content has been modified, that's fine, and I'm going to revert this back. And what we now see here is the whole thing reverts back. It tells me my version of the system is back to version 2 and the change has now been wiped away from the system. However, let's redo it and this time we want to actually commit this back. So I can, under subversion here, I can do a commit. And this is a commit of this particular file. I can, as mentioned, uh, pull up some existing comments or commit messages, but in this instance I won't. So I will add that commit message and you'll now see that this particular file is now at uh, revision 3 within the system. Now in actual fact what this actually shows me is that this file is up to date and at the very tip of the repository however the entire project isn't necessarily and within subversion I can do an update and what we'll see here is that the project has gone up and it tells me for example that actually the latest version of that file was version 2. So the project as a whole was updated in version 3, this file was updated in version 3, this file was also updated in version 2. So it gives you this level of information on the system. It's now worth taking a quick look at how the environment can be customised. So we'll look at how to customise commit messages within the system. Under Window, Preferences, the Team submenu, and we're looking obviously at a version here, Comment Templates, i.e. Commit Message Templates. And what we can do is create uh, a whole series of commit message templates which may be useful for people to quickly add commit messages while they're doing their daily work. So for example I can add one here and this will say updating comments to the required format. Okay, and we can apply that and we now should have that one available to us. The next thing I would like to show you is the usage of keywords within source files. So Subversion of course maintains information on when each file was modified, who it's modified by and what its current revision number is. And by using inbuilt keywords within your source files and enabling those within Subversion you are then able to maintain comments within your source files which tells you effectively uh, what the current revision of that particular source file is without having to interrogate the Subversion system directly. The first thing we need to do is for each file, 
for which we want to support that, we need to go in and support the keywords which are required. So we're going to set keywords and we'll see which ones we want to have. In this case we'll have the last change date and the last change revision. And what you can see here on the right hand side is a sample of what it might look like in your source file. OK. Now that's actually changed the file. Um, it's not actually changed the file in terms of the source, but it's changed the file in the way that Subversion deals with it, because each file effectively can have keywords associated with it in the repository. So what you'll see is that the file now is uh, annotated to say that it's been modified, even though you can't see any changes in the source itself. Now to make use of these keywords, we need to include them in our source code. So for example, I can quickly add last changed revision. Now of course you may want to have other text around these particular keywords within your source files but at this point in time we'll just leave them where they are. And what I can now do is save these files, save this file back and our next commit will effectively commit back both the change to the source file and also the change to the properties associated with the source file, in other words those keywords. So when I now do a commit so under subversion, select the source file first, SVN, and commit. So it's notified that it's modified this. And you can see now not only is the content modified, but also the properties have been modified. Now, let's see, we have a comment template which we just created, updating comments to the required format. And I can click OK. And what you'll see is magically these keywords have been updated by the systems so that's automatic by subversion and every time changes are made that will automatically automatically be updated for you so that's a very simple way of giving you a particularly graphic and simple mechanism to view the changes to your source files